hey welcome back guys to my channel thank you so much for watching my videos this is going to be part three where i'm going to show you all the detailed information how i'm going to repair this um, uh, power station ecoflow river okay so in first two videos you saw i completely theory down and in the second one i basically assembled everything back on so okay so uh first of all i'm not a sponsor of this brand or anything uh, so yeah, I bought this puppy on eBay for 50 bucks plus shipping as you may have seen on the previous video uh, So yeah, I fixed once right everything was working amazing But I also realized this thing this issue also happened again Which which makes me believe this is an issue with actual individual cells at this point at at least the segment I should say so I'm gonna show you the symptom symptoms so the symptoms I see right now is different than what I bought originally, okay? I did not document it everything uh, at that time. Uh, to be honest, I didn't do recording only because I didn't know if I can fix it because I'm not a professional by any mean. I'm not, you know, licensed or professional. I'm just a DIY guy like, like most of you guys are. So I was not documenting anything. I was just doing it for myself. I, I was learning it for myself and I was trying to fix it, right? Once I was able to fix it, that is where I started making a recording so I can maybe share with other people to, to basically show how to fix this machine. So right now I'm going to show you the symptoms. Uh, basically it's not taking a charge. It's showing 0%. So yeah, last night or yesterday it was showing about 90, 92% battery was left. And this morning or whenever I woke up this, this you know morning when I looked at it, it's just, yeah, I mean, you'll see. So right now, see, power cord is not plugged in. Nothing is plugged in. When I'm turning it on, it's basically blinking. Let me maybe zoom a little bit here. See, it did shut down as, as I'm talking. So when I turn it on, it does turn on. It's showing zero volt and this blue thing is flashing. And it's, see, there you go, it keeps shutting down. I guess this is very similar to what was happening originally. When I bought this on eBay, this is exactly what was happening. So I know exactly what the problem is. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go there. Let me show you. Now, when I try to charge this machine, Let's see. The fan kicks on. As you may be able to hear it. Okay, fan shut down. 0%. It's spinning. Do I see a battery icon? Not yet, but let's see. But originally, when I did the very first time, the battery, the red battery was flashing here. So let's see. But yeah, it's not charging. You can clearly see not charging. Okay, yeah, there you go. It just shuts shut itself down. So it just powered off. It shuts down okay so based on my research and all the understanding so far the very first thing is you want to try to turn on this flashlight so maybe try to turn this puppy on and try to turn on the flashlight okay the flashlight is plugged in to the battery it's not coming through the inverter area or the 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 transformer which is converting from you know dc or sorry ac to dc it's not coming from there it's coming from a battery so very first thing you want to look at if this happens with you if your flashlight is working if this is not working you know right away this is the battery issue there's no power in the battery battery is not giving any output at this point i mean it's giving output i should shouldn't say that it's giving output because see right now it's on the battery right it's giving output but it's not giving enough power for this to like accept it and like to work okay so i'm not gonna tear down in front of you guys if you if you need to see the process just you know flip to the video number one and um you'll be able to see step by step i'm still gonna do it here just because i have this puppy opened but i'm gonna do fast forward to skip this video as short as possible uh but yeah here we go Okay, I will pause here for a second. Pause, I mean, I'm gonna show you here. Uh, so this is the cord, right? That's coming from a battery. So I'm gonna unplug this puppy and let's test if there's any power in this thing right as we speak. I know this is kinda not a good um, multimeter, but let's see if this shows a good any reading. No, see, this is fluctuating, which means it's, yeah, this is just not a good one 
to show you here. So let me maybe use this one. It's just one of the one cheap one. Uh, let's see. Yep, here you can clearly see zero volt, pretty much. Yeah, so it's not giving any output right now. So yes, this is the problem with the battery. So I'm going to remove everything. Let me go to the battery level and then we'll talk about it. All right, guys. So yeah, again, I fast forwarded the video um, because I didn't mean to, you know, make this video super long. If you have not seen, go back to the part one. There I'm doing complete tear down, step by step with detailed information. So you know exactly how to open it. Uh, but yeah, so this is the battery pack. Now I'm gonna show you some of the technical details. Uh, maybe I'll post some sort of like a picture on a screen. So this power bank or this power pack, I should say, or battery pack is actually 8S cell. And how do I know? Because it's clearly say 8S here. Now I did do the full charge of this battery. It was showing 4.2 volt each. So the total of 10, 10, 10, 10. So the total of like 40 cells in this battery pack, right? Now 40 cells means there are five cell in each S. If you do 8 into 5, a simple math, 8 into 5 comes down to 40. So each cell is 4.2 volt if you do 100% charge this uh, power station. Now 4.2 out of 8, that makes it exactly 32 volt, which means when this battery is fully charged, it will be giving output of 32 volt. Okay, this is the BMS. Now, of course, technically I should have 32 volt here. And of course, I don't have 32 volt. I mean, right now I don't even have any volt. And I can show you here. And again, uh, I think I did mention in the previous video, but again, uh, there are two buttons here. Right now, my BMS is off. When I press this button or press and hold, here you can see the light blinking, which means my BMS is on right now. Okay, my BMS is on. But now let's see if I have any output of the power. That's my main question. So, hope you guys can see my little meter here. Now, of course, this is just kind of cheap. Uh, one but let's see look at that there is no output even though my light is on which mean by which, which mean my bms is on but there's no light okay so now there's a problem and i know last time i had a problem here i'm gonna maybe let you see the entire video uh, after this because i documented the process on how to fix it after i knew what the problem is so i'm still gonna let you watch the video after i can explain you here so now Okay, if you have seen my previous video in part two, I believe, or part one, I'm discussing how, you know, you build a battery battery pack. This is a 8S battery pack. So in Chinese one, you have B minus, then B1, B2, B3, B4, and so on. In this one, this is actually designed by EcoFlow. And how I know that, you can clearly see their uh, stamp or their brand name logo right on the BMS itself which means they literally designed this BMS, okay? So, it, so that doesn't mean it's going to match with the Chinese diagram. So that's why they have a little different number. Here, if you see carefully, I'm gonna try to zoom here. So pay attention here, you see how it says zero? This is actually your main negative um, terminal. Now, when you see one, which you see this number one right here, one is your B1, which is battery one. So from here to here, you have one series of cell, so 4.2 volt. Now from one into two, this is your second one. Now two into three, which is this, that's your third one. Now three to four, your fourth, four to five is fifth, and fifth to sixth, and six to seven, seven is right here. I mean, it's kind of confused. Yeah, seven is right here, and then seven to eight. So that's how it is. So what you have to do here at this point, you have to test the power on which one has power and which one not last time my problem was one to two 
because I, because okay what happened is when you park or when you leave this power station uh, in a storage you have to make sure you shut this puppy down and how you shut it down you have to press and hold this button for like three four seconds i mean when everything is of course plugged in you press and hold this button for like three four seconds it says off when it says off your technically bms shuts down okay when this thing shuts down it's not giving any output it's not losing any power what happens is a lot of people just leave when they press the button once it shuts down the screen but actually bms is working now they think it's shut down and they're like okay well it's good i can store it now after a month because this light is always blinking this light is always blinking inside and people are like oh well they don't know right after a month or so this drains so much and that is where all this charging issue and all this problem happens so the, the, the so the thing you have to be very careful when you don't want to use it press and hold for a few seconds until you see off that means it completely shuts down and how you verify you press and hold or press this uh, uh, flashlight button if you press it once if this thing turns on which means your bms is on and it's giving the power to your flashlight if you press and it does not turn on you are good which means clearly your machine is shut down now you're perfect to leave it for overnight and you know for for a few days or stuff like that okay so in this case i'm going to test the power on each cell i'm going to show you how you do it so you press your again doesn't matter negative or positive you need to know which one is i mean you, you just need to know if there's any power in the first series of cell okay i'm going to press one prong here and one to minus number one look at that you see 4.08 so there's a clear power in there so we are good right here now you do the second one i mean that's where i had trouble last time and look at that so the problem is again in the same one which makes me believe the problem is out of five cell because there are five in each segment or each s there is one or two cells are bad which of course would require a lot more work i would have to literally rip off the back side but i'm going to just show you this fix it's up to you i mean you know it doesn't hurt to try my repair uh, if you do not have any bad cell, it's possible you will be fine. It will just jump start your machine and then it'll charge like normal. You will be fine. But again, I purchased this puppy from eBay uh, for 50 bucks, like I mentioned in previous videos. So it's possible there was a original issue with one of the cell. And because of one or two cell, bad cell, it's draining all the power. And that is why it's not staying charged as normal. So it's possible I have one bad cell. I, that's what I believe at this point. But it's not, it may not be possible. It may not be true in your statement. You might have all the good cell. It just died because you left it on. Okay. So you, it might work for you. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. But yeah, look at it. 2.68. Now I'm going to tell other cells. So number 2 to 3. Look at that. 4.08. Because I did full charge it the other day. So 4.08. Now 3 to 4. Look at that 4.08 it's happy now 4 to 5 where is 5 let's see now 5 is here look at it 4.08 now i go from 5 to 6 6 is right here look at that 4.08 6 to 7 4.08 and 7 to 8 4.08 okay the problem is clearly in the same segment i had the exact same issue last time i'm going to show you exactly how to fix it that is where my variable power supply comes handy so again what, 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 what was the voltage oops voltage has to be here look at that 4.08 so i want to set this puppy to 4.08 yeah let's bump the ampere to i would say let's make it 3 amp last time i did it at 3 amp okay you do 3 amp here <clears throat> okay now i believe okay so now you have to be very careful about positive and negative i'm not going to trust on this one because uh, i guess i'm going to use this one for positive negative because this is going to give me the right answer so okay here is how you do it okay this is your negative this is your positive i know that for sure look at that it's showing 4.063 
my voltage hope you can see that uh, I guess I don't know if I can, you guys can see it there you go now it's better so look at that you see it's 4.06 now this is a correct one so this is a positive now keep in mind when you're plugging the cell to cell like you know one cell to the second cell if this is negative and this is positive the next cell will be opposite right it can be positive you have to hit negative to positive so they are in series they're making more volt so what i'm trying to say here is if this is negative and this is positive which it is you have to flip the wire now for the second one you have to do like this see look at that look at that 2.67 it's way low but the positive negative is right so this is what i'm going to charge so this is your negative this is your positive b make sure if you are doing this repair b make sure you do the right one because if you do it wrong that can be dangerous so this is your negative again this is your positive for this one 2.6 all right so now i'm going to plug my negative to negative positive to positive negative to negative and positive to positive look at that it's taking 3 amp 3 amp right now it's basically charging this uh, thing yep now it's taking complete 3 amp right now it's charging this power bank i'm going to let it charge like 10 15 minutes Right, guys here you can see it's clearly charged up to 3.2 volt but this was down to like 2.2 or 2.3 volt it was way low and this is the only series that was way lower when i was looking the whole battery pack so it's one and two so zero to one was fine and then one to two was the lowest and everything else was fine so yeah it's charging i'm charging at two ampere rate i believe this would fix the issue i'm pretty positive so we'll see here's a good shot of charging 3.24 but yeah it's charging slowly but surely i'm gonna charge it to 3.6 something 67 before i believe it'll pick up the charging Okay, I have been charging this battery for 15 minutes so far, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so I was charging, you know, at the higher, at a 3 ampere rate. I mean, I started with 1 amp. So I bumped the amperes to 3 amp. So after about 15, 20 minutes, now I can see it's going down. So it's finally below 3 amp. And of course, I love this power supply uh, when it comes to charging because it gives me all these details. So when it's, of course, at 3 ampere rate, you know, the light goes you know the lower area that's where the light shows solid but now it's the upper one and now it shows me 2.734 so yeah i'm gonna let it charge till 3.66 because that is exactly all the other cells are and i'm gonna briefly explain you basically how exactly all these cells are designed so yeah definitely i think it's completely uh possible and i don't think it's rocket science to be able to fix this battery okay here is another quick update uh, so I basically put my two prongs here directly in this uh, XT90 adapter or connector and finally I can see the voltage in here exactly 2908 which of course it's 29 because this is pumping 3.6 volt right now but the good thing is before I was not able to see the voltage from this XT60 so from the time I started working on this project I did not see any volt in this connector which which makes me believe it's going to work because I can clearly see the voltage like very steady voltage look at that very steady 29 or so but it's holding up right there and this light is blinking here you can see it's kind of hard to see because it's a flash but there you can see 
the light is flashing i had to reset reset this bms just because it was losing his mind uh, losing his mind because you know all these other cells are 3.6 only one of them uh, one to two was showing low voltage but yeah looks like it's taking all the power uh, you can see 2.4 amp so yeah i'm gonna let it go down uh, at least three four hundred amp or so or five hundred amp milliamp sorry less than half a amp or half a you know five hundred milliamp or so i'm gonna let it go down before i um kind of plug everything back on and we'll see the result at that point okay finally i did set up my phone to like a tripod so I, that way i can try my best to document everything from now on uh, so hopefully i can show you everything guys um, so that way, you know, you can, you can do yourself. So yeah, I'm going to let it record and I'll do fast forward on this charging, uh, timer. So yeah, you guys can keep on watching, I guess. All right, guys, I think I'm going to start checking the other cells because it's almost done uh by the way it's been charging for the last 25 minutes from the time i recorded recording this uh on the phone uh like a live recording so prior to that i would say i charged this battery uh you know this little portion for i would say 40 50 minutes so i think total all together approx is close to one and a half hour which is you know pretty good time which which makes me believe everything should work out fine so meanwhile, it's a, it's almost, uh, you know, at good point, I would say. I'm going to charge up to like 400 milliamp or below. I think that's a pretty good range. I mean, once I gonna put it back, I think it should just work fine. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just plug it in. It's 4.10. I think that's looking happy. So let's shut this puppy down. I'm going to unplug these prong. So yeah, let's see. So very first thing is we have to bring back this fan unit. But that's okay let's test it test test this unit uh before we go even further so i'm gonna connect this one so i can give actual power uh you know what i'm gonna charge at the dc volt so i can it'll be easy since i don't have to plug the ac i'm gonna check on the dc one uh using this xt90 connector and i can make this to a 12 volt uh let's make it mm, yeah let's make it 12 I mean, it goes by solar, so it's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, let's plug this puppy. All right. Now let's plug this cord. Like that. Now this is my little XT90 or XT60. I think it's, yeah, XT60, sorry. So I'm going to plug this puppy in and I'm going to give it a power and we'll see if this pick up the charging or what the heck happens here let's see so yeah positive to positive negative to negative let's turn this puppy on let's see moment of truth guys let's see here you can see it's taking four five hundred milliamp it's turning on okay it's spinning which is a good sign look at that which is because this is right around this time it was saying power off so i don't know for so far for sure but yeah it's taking good 3.39 which is almost three and a half ampere which is a pretty high amp but yeah it did not shut down guys all right i think we fixed it <laughs> i think we fixed it that's awesome yeah it did not shut down by the way guys it was shutting it was not going this long before it will just come on for like i don't know five seconds four seconds and it'll say off right here and it'll go down so so far it's taking the power and it's charging and it does show eight hour to full charge 
So which means it's charging. You know what? That's awesome. Wow. You know what? I'm going to let it charge. So yeah, let's see. Uh, I mean, at least I'm going to see 1%, you know. If I see 1%, that would be a pretty good sign. You know what? Let me connect to the power since it's not shutting down. I wonder with the power, it's going to pick up charging way more quicker than... Oh, there you go. Beautiful. We just saw the 1%, guys. That is beautiful. That is awesome sign. I think this really fixed the unit. I can clearly see 1%. Yeah. Wow. There was no 1% before. It was all zero. It was just keep dying at 0%. It never went to 1%. So you know what? Let me plug to a power. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, plug this unit and I'm going to close it. So, so yeah, I'll be back. Let's see. Okay, that's the last wire. Battery one goes here like this. Okay, I think we are happy. I think everything looks good. Did I miss anything? Nope, everything looks good here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug straight in the power now and we will see if it's charging by the main power. So let's make sure again, heart to heart, this, this, this. Okay, everything looks good. All right, guys, let's plug this puppy in. All right, moment of the truth. Let's see. All right, let's see 1%. I'm just gonna give it a few more seconds just to see if I see number two. But yeah, here you can see charging shows already four hours, three hours. With this 12 volt, I was saying, what, eight, nine hours? But yeah, it's taking almost 156. Wow, 170 watt. Yeah, looks like it's happy. Yeah, almost 200 watt. That's beautiful. I think we fixed it, guys. I, oh, there you go. Number two. Oh, wow. Now it shows nine hours, eight hours, six hours. Whatever. But yeah, guys, I can see number two. Looks like it's happy. Oh, there you go. The flashlight is working. The flashlight was not working before. Uh, wow, now it shows straight 20%, maybe because it's balancing the cells. Um, yeah, now it's balancing the cells. Straight 20%. And now, yep, it's going to 73. Oh, it, okay, it's going again. But anyway, guys, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm ho I hope this video, you know, help you to repair your own um, EcoFlow River system. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video or if you think this video was helpful, do like, share and subscribe. So I get some motivation and I can, you know, come up with more new ideas uh, for DIY project. Uh, but yeah, you can see 22%. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll let this puppy charge, close the hood. And yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.